Hey, what's up, David? This is Jude Snowboarder here from Facebook. We were just chatting and you ask a great question and often people say, hey, I'm just getting into collecting. What's some pointers on how to start? It all depends on your goals. There's so many different ways to collect. There's collecting for uh, financial gain, profit, short term. Then there's collecting for long term um, investment strategy. Then there's collecting because um, you like something about it. Maybe you like reading them. Maybe you like um, getting a whole series that's a completionist. Hey, I want one through 330 of Spawn because I want every single issue because that makes me feel fun and good. So it all depends on your your goals. Um, it's, it's like saying I collect cars. Uh, there's just a million different ways to collect cars. I'm talking about real cars. You collect houses. I collect model cars. I collect Spawn figures. So let me know what your goals are. are you, have you been reading for a long time? Do you want to read? Do you not read them? Do you just like the art? Um, are you wanting to try to flip in the next you know, 12 months and make a profit? Are you trying to you know, keep for 30 years and, and have a better return than the stock market, which might be you know, 5 to 8% average? So give me a few pointers on uh, what your, your goals are. What do you enjoy about comics? Um, Mine are all in these boxes. And yeah, people want to put them on the wall, but then the light destroys them. You don't get to see them. I get to see my comic books because I'm pulling them out, grading them, pricing them, putting ads online. So I'm constantly playing with my books. Um, and I like that touching and feeling them. And I like selling them. Um, I do a lot of graded stuff. I specialize in 9.8s for, uh, for the clientele I want to go after. I want the highest, most expensive books. My goal in 10 years is to only have books worth more than $10,000 and basically become like an art dealer. You know, when you're getting up in that echelon, it's a totally different world. So there's graded books. There's raw books. Do you like, um, are you really big into the Marvel uh, Cinematic Universe? Are you big into the Batman Universe? Are you big into what movie dictates is popular what movies are dictating that's popular like the mcu um do you like i prefer marvel I, I do like batman i like some tmnt but i'm from an 80s guy i collected all during the 80s in high school so i like things that remind me of the 80s and that's why i like looking at a book you know this book right here grimjack 26 nobody knows anything about this book but i remember this when it came out in the 80s um East, Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird did it. And they, they put a Teenage Ninja Mutant Turtles um, story in here back in 1986. One of their first stories outside of their own label. And no special artist. It's just a very early TMNT appearance in another book besides... it's like It came out the same time as number eight did. So I look at this and I'm thinking... Man, have one of the early TMNTs. Nobody knows about it. Get this signed by Kevin Eastman, and that would probably go for a pretty penny because I've checked on CGC Census, and there's no other signed Grimjacks number 96, at least that I can remember. First Comic Books was the, the publisher back then. TMNT wasn't with First Comics. They've since gone out of business, so it just reminds me of the 80s. So I like collecting what I remember. Uh, also, I like 9-8 books. So trying to get 9-8 books in the 70s and 60s is really, really hard. I have a Amazing Spider-Man number 204, uh, 1980. It's the third appearance of Black Cat. Um, it's a harder book to get. This is $500 what I'm selling it for. So you get into the 60s and 70s, 9.8s are very hard to get or very, very expensive. So I think I can get 80s books at 9.8. I collected during that time. Um, Wolverine got big. Punisher got big. X-Men got big. It was just that period that I really liked. So that's what I've specialized in. A lot of people that grew up in the 80s or my age in their 50s. You know, the Silver Age people, they're either younger people invested in Silver Age or they're the, the 70 and 80 year olds. Um, they may not be spending a lot on books because they already bought their books. So... There's a lot of different ways to go. Tell me what you're thinking, man, and uh, I'll try to help you out. Take care.